Dear grade 12 students, welcome to today's English lesson. This is reading to be part 1. Please make sure to have your books around and have them opened on pages 28 and 29. There are two main objectives to consider today. The first one has to do with identifying the purpose of a text. And the second one has to do with filling in a timeline with suitable information from the text. Now, it's time to open our books. This is exercise A, page 28. What do we have in here? We've got different fields of study. We've got astronomy, algebra, medicine, geometry, and philosophy. What I want you to do is tell me what each of these fields is about, and I want you to name some famous scientists from the past who added to these fields. Please pause the video now to answer. Well, what is astronomy? Okay, astronomy is the study of the stars and planets. Can you name any famous astronomers? Excellent! Galileo is one of the most famous astronomers from the past and he made the first telescope. Moving on to the second field of study and we have algebra. What is algebra? Well, algebra is the mathematics of equations. And what are equations? Equations are mathematical statements in which we have two equal amounts. One of the most famous mathematicians is Muhammad ibn Musa al-Khwarizmi. He is the one who introduced the concepts, the basics of algebra. Well, let's learn about one more field of study and what is philosophy? Well, philosophy is the study of beliefs and beliefs are what we think is true. Philosophy is also concerned with the meaning of life. Some of the most famous philosophers from the past are Al-Razi, Aristotle and Socrates. Moving on to exercise B, page 28. Take some time to read the question and answer. Pause the video now. Well, the question is asking you to choose the main purpose of the text or the main reason why the text is written. So, which of these do you think is the answer to the question? Excellent! It is option D. And can you give me a reason why D is the right answer? Excellent! And here we've got the purpose is to provide, to give facts and information about a certain historical era and it is the golden age of Islam. 
Now, I want you to read the text and answer these questions. Please pause the video now. Well, times of great learning are called, any ideas? Excellent. They are called the golden ages. Every Muslim has to, every Muslim must, every Muslim is obliged to, yes, seek knowledge, look for, search for knowledge. The Islamic empire was expanded by, excellent, it was expanded by the caliphs. And the caliphs are the people who came after the death of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Schools of the Islamic world focused on what subjects? Okay, Islamic law, theology, medicine, and mathematics. Great job. Here are some more questions for you to answer. Please pause the video now. Well, what city became the capital of the Islamic Empire in the 760s? Can you tell me? Excellent, it is Baghdad. Caliph Harun al-Rashid founded? Yes, he founded the House of Wisdom. Who were able to come and learn and seek knowledge? In the House of Wisdom, scholars from all backgrounds were welcomed. Moving on, some more questions. I want you to fill in this table with suitable information from the text. Please pause the video now and answer. Who is the father of algebra? Yes, it is Al-Khwarizmi. Who translated the words of Aristotle? Any ideas? Excellent. Ibn Sina translated the works of Aristotle. What subject is still studied all over the world today? Algebra is and which book is considered to be a standard reading for those who want to study the history of medicine? Okay, it is Ibn Sina's canon of medicine. Great job. Moving on to exercise C on page 29. We have this timeline. And this timeline illustrates, it marks some of the important dates during the Golden Age of Islam. Now, I want you to read the passage one more time and fill in the gaps with suitable words. Please pause the video now. Well, from 632 to 750, the Islamic Empire expands to Africa, Asia, and what is the last area? Excellent. It is the Iberian Peninsula. In 751, knowledge of imported from China, so it is paper making. Great job! In 825, Al-Khwarizmi invents, yes, algebra, 
859 University of Al Karwin yes was founded excellent and what do we have in here Ibn Sina publishes book of healing so Ibn Sina was the one who wrote that book and finally in 1258 Baghdad and the house of wisdom was destroyed great job well I want you to tell me how many paragraphs are there in the text okay there are five paragraphs and as you know each paragraph is about a certain idea I will show you some sentences some ideas and I want you to match these sentences to their appropriate to their suitable paragraphs Well, before we start, I want you to know that this exercise is not in your book. So pay attention in here. What do we have on the left hand side of the table? We have five sentences and each sentence expresses the main idea of a certain paragraph in the passage. So, what you should do is match each sentence to the appropriate paragraph. Please pause the video now and answer. Well, the Islamic Empire changes its capital where can you find this idea okay it is in the third paragraph and we have Baghdad became the capital so changes its capital the Islamic Empire changes its capital invaders destroy the capital of the Islamic Empire and this is best matched to wonderful this is paragraph 5 and the invaders are the Mongols destroyed the capital of the Islamic Empire well knowledge and education are mandatory to be sought by Muslims can you tell me what is the answer okay this idea is expressed in paragraph 2 and it was the obligation mandatory seek sought well done a welcoming atmosphere leads to great advances and this is paragraph wonderful this is paragraph 4 and welcomed welcoming atmosphere welcoming atmosphere to the bright minds at the time and we've got great advances because of that positive atmosphere what is a golden age and this is paragraph one and golden ages are marked by advances in both science and culture great job now let's know more details about the golden ages of Islam you've got a question in here refer to the timeline to answer the question please pause the video now well the question is asking you 
How long did the golden ages of Islam last? Look at the timeline again. Okay, so the golden ages of Islam lasted from 650 to 1250. And this makes the whole period 600 years. Excellent. After learning about the fact that the Golden Ages of Islam lasted for 600 years, now I want you to describe that period. I want you to tell me the main feature of that period. Well, this period was a period of great intellectual advancement. And what do we mean by the word intellectual? It means the ability to think and understand things like understanding the different fields of study, understanding the different sciences, especially those complicated ideas and sciences. Well, I want you to read this question. And the caliphate was the reason of the long-lasting impact of intellectual advancement on the world of learning. But what is a caliphate? A caliphate is the Islamic state after the death of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the year 632. The caliphates are the Abbasid, the Fatimid, and the Umayyad Caliphates. Here is one more question for you to think about. What did the Caliphs do to achieve all the glory, all that success in the world of learning? Here is a hint. What do you think this is? We read about that in the passage, and excellent, this is the House of Wisdom. And the House of Wisdom was meant to be a library when it was established by Caliph al-Rashid, but then his son al-Ma'mun changed it to be a more official place of learning. Now, we know that the House of Wisdom is one of the most important achievements of the Caliphs. But what else did the Caliphs do? Pause the video, go through the passage to answer the question. Well, there are a lot of things to consider. The caliphs founded centers for learning. They established a system for primary and secondary education. They taught medicine and mathematics, not only theology. They established universities. They placed great value on scientific inquiry. They were open to other cultures and civilizations, and this appears when they translated books into Arabic. And finally, they accepted, they welcomed scholars from all over the world to come to Baghdad and learn in the House of Wisdom. After this lesson, you should know how to identify the purpose of a text and you should know how to match subtitles to suitable paragraphs. This is the end of today's reading lesson. Thanks for watching and remember this video will always be available for you to watch on Microsoft Teams 
at any time.